Over the last few years, I've literally used hundreds of different devices to try and get my skin looking its best possible. I've used high frequency, I've used high food, there's been microneedling, plasma pens, hydrofacial devices, microcurrent EMS, the list literally goes on and on. And in one way or another, they've all worked to kind of transform my skin from what it used to look like to what it's looking like today. But when it comes to maintaining my skin and kind of reversing it from what it looked like up to what it looks like today, it's the skincare devices that I'm all about. Out. which I guess this slides in quite naturally. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, I'm TJ and I love everything to do with anti-aging skincare tools and devices, topical products, and taking a bit of a dive beneath the surface of the science of how each of them works. So if that intrigues your inner nerd, hi friend. So today's video is about a skin tightening device. Quelle surprise. I mean, you didn't see that one coming, did you? And it's all about my favorite skin treatment, radio frequency. Now for you guys who have been with me for the last few years, this little beauty right here is probably going to look super familiar to you. This is the very first device that I ever owned. It's the first device I ever bought. And it's also the device that propelled me forward in my desire to have a career in skincare. This is just a generic bipolar radio frequency machine. The effect that it had on my skin and the transformation that it gave me was insane and it was because of this device that I realized hey wait a minute taking back control of my aging face is actually possible now naturally this isn't the only radio frequency device that I own it's not the only one that I've used on my channel you might be familiar with the even skin lumo the mini haifu now I'm just gonna set these aside because I need both hands to pick up the next beast and my professional grade skincare device which is the plasma perfecting radio frequency microneedling machine but as much as I love this one and it really is probably the best of the bunch when it comes to the machines and devices that I have. 99% of home users are gonna find this one a little bit large and perhaps complicated to use. But being a product reviewer means that I've got something new to share with you. Why did that sound so creepy? Why am I talking to my machine? I think I need help. Today's video is all about something that is powerful, is compact, and it's gonna be super simple for the home user to use, which is, ta-da! Look at me doing my own sound effects. It's the newer plus home radio frequency device with 3D technology. And I've been using this for a little while now and all I can say is, wow, great things really can come in small packages. Now, if you're just kind of getting into taking care of your skin yourself at home and you're kind of wondering which of the different tools, devices and treatments work best, you probably already stumbled across and learned about radio frequency. Now, when it comes to regenerating and rejuvenating the skin, radio frequency works from within. Now, it's not really what I would call a surface level treatment, but by boosting collagen and elastin levels in the underlying skin, what it's basically doing is it's providing the perfect structure for the overlying skin to kind of be held closer, tighter and firmer against the face. Now, a lot of people ask me, okay, TJ, how does radio frequency actually work in the skin? And whilst a lot of the radio frequency devices definitely look different, and maybe the way that they provide radio frequency to the skin is different, the actual way that the frequency itself works is pretty standard across all of them. Now, the way that I kind of like to explain radio frequency to the novice is to think of it like a microwave and a big old hunk of steak. Now, obviously, I don't eat meat, but for those of you who do, if you've ever microwaved a steak, hmm. But for this example, okay, it's going to be fine. So basically, when you're applying targeted radio waves to the collagen fibers and strands within the meat, what happens is that they start to contract, they become tighter, everything starts to pull together, and you'll notice that the meat starts to shrink. The more you cook it, the smaller it gets. Now, in a way, this is what's happening with radio frequency. Obviously, radio frequency is on a completely different frequency to a microwave. It's also highly unlikely that you're going to cook your face. Now, obviously, when it comes to the thinner skin on the face and especially over the eyes, I always say the last thing you want to do is cook your eyeballs because gross, who wants to have cooked eyeballs? The reason I say that is you're not actually really going to cook your eyeballs. Like, they're not suddenly going to start steaming and leaking and shrinking in your head. But when you're going over the very thin eyelid skin, you've got to remember just how thin that skin is, literally in the millimeters. Applying a radio frequency treatment that could potentially be going up to five or six millimeters deep means that you're going to be firing that frequency into your eye. There are better ways to tighten the lower and upper eyelid skin without risking your vision. But anyway, I kind of slid away from the point there, so let's go back to what radio frequency is and how it works. Now you're gonna notice that on this device, on the head of it, there are some metal tips. Now there are two tips, one on each side, which means that the frequency is fired out of one side and then it re-enters the device back on the other side. This means I don't need a grounding pad anywhere on my body. It also means that the frequency isn't gonna be going as deep into the skin. It's also not gonna be as powerful 
powerful as monopolar. But really that's what you want when you're doing these treatments yourself at home because the stronger a device is, the more risks it carries, the more risks it carries, the more likely you are to damage yourself. Slow and steady always wins the race and it's the best way to kind of monitor your results, make sure that you're seeing the results that you want, you're moving in the right direction. And if anything is happening that you don't really like, then you can stop before it goes too far. But again, I got off track. Okay, so the frequency is emitted from the tip of the device. Then what happens is as the frequency penetrates through the epidermis and the dermis, it starts to excite all of the cells in the skin. And then these cells start to vibrate. They start to rub against each other, bang into each other. And this action generates heat. Now the heat is gonna be in a very precise layer of the skin. And then what that does is once the temperature starts approaching 41 degrees Celsius, which I'm gonna put in Fahrenheit right here, for my American friends, changes start to take place with the collagen within the skin. First of all, it starts to contract and tighten. It gets smaller, it shrinks, the strands start pulling towards each other and together, much like I gave the demonstration of meat in a microwave. As that temperature continues to increase, collagen denaturation starts to take place, which basically is the death of collagen strands. Now, if collagen is a good thing for the face, why would you want to be destroying it? Now, first of all, with radio frequency, it's that poorly performing and poorly structured collagen that tends to be broken down first. But the great thing about the body is its ability to regenerate. Now, radio frequency with its heat and the destruction of that collagen basically sends a signal to your body saying, hey, there's been a thermally induced wound. We need to flood that area with fibroblasts. We've got to heal the damage that's going on in there. And most importantly, we need to lay the foundations for fresh collagen. So those fibroblasts, white blood cells, everything like that starts to come along, starts working its magic, healing the damage and laying down type three collagen. Now type three collagen is a pre-collagen. And then over the following weeks and months, what happens is that that type three collagen is then replaced with type one collagen, which is the kind of collagen that we want in here to keep this all plump and bouncy and tight. But now I've covered the different tools and devices I've used in the past and how radio frequency works. Let's take a closer look at the newer plus wireless edition and why I'm a little bit in love. So in the newer plus wireless device, you've got that unique three deep radio frequency technology. Basically what that means is that the radio frequency is perfectly optimized to enter the third layer of the skin, which as you probably already guessed is the perfect place to target when it comes to boosting that collagen and elastin. But besides three deep technology, there's also some pretty nifty safety features that help protect the home user from damaging their skin when using this. Inside this, you've got an automatic shut off sensor, which basically detects when the skin is overheating what it then does is it cuts off that frequency so that there's no more heat being generated within the skin which prevents any damage or burns from occurring now this is a function that i actually think is probably one of the biggest usps for this device and it's for that alone that i would recommend the majority of home users to have a device that contains an automatic shut off like that but the safety doesn't finish there because what it's also got is a motion detection sensor which basically means that it knows when the device is being rotated on the skin in the circular motions and it knows when it's not. Now with my very first radio frequency device, if you held it in place, eventually you would cook your skin. It used to crackle, it would spark, it was super powerful, but it also lacked any of these safety features that I've grown to really love and appreciate in many of the more modern devices. So basically when you're doing a treatment, you'll be using a circular motion, moving it along the skin. Now, if I was to suddenly stop because I got distracted by the dog or my phone or for whatever reason, the device detects that it's no longer moving, which means that the risk of holding it in place and burning yourself goes up massively. So what it does is it pulls the cut switch and it stops the frequency. Now the frequency will start again when you start moving the device but with the motion detection and the heat sensors built into this I mean it's pretty much about as safe as you can get when it comes to a home use radio frequency skin tightening device. So let's take a quick closer look. So obviously the device is really nice and compact it holds beautifully in the hand really easy to get a grip on. Your power button is here on the front then on the top you've got the radio frequency output point you've got the power output adjustment here here on the side and then you've got a charging port right here also with this device in the box you get the newer lift conductive gel which is designed for use with the newer plus radio frequency device now in the user manual it does say that you need to use this specific newer radio frequency conductive gel when you're using the newer device now as someone who's been using radio frequency for a long time the frequency really doesn't need a specialist serum or gel to be able to penetrate the skin and get to work now obviously this has been formulated by newer to work with their device, but in my own humble opinion and from my own past experience, any glycerin or water-based conductive gel is actually gonna work. 
But obviously the formulation in this is designed to kind of give you maximum results to help carry on working on your skin from the outside while the radio frequency works on the inside. But just to confirm this, I have been using the Lift Gel with the device, but I have also used my Medicube HR Booster Gel with the device. Worked just as well, but I mean, if you're gonna buy a device, you might as well use the gels that come with it. And also just stock up on a few more to save on any shipping or import duties and all of that stuff. So as is true with the majority of anti-aging and skin tightening devices, especially home use ones, they're not always going to be best for those who have got really deep or severe lines and wrinkles and excessive skin laxity. Now that's not to say that they're not going to help with that. They're definitely going to help to kind of boost that collagen and I guess tighten and smooth things out. But the best results really are going to be seen on someone with mild to moderate lines and wrinkles and mild to moderate skin laxity. Now if you're a guy like me, I kind of get that skincare treatments looking at taking care of fine lines and wrinkles and complexion and all of that jazz has always kind of been in the realm of the female audience but there has been a recent explosion into male skincare so you can imagine my disappointment when I'm going through the contraindications and the safety precautions of this device and it says you are not advised to use this device if you are male now obviously I get that that's because the device has been tested and trialed on females so I am the test and trial for all of you guys out there yes it's true that male skin is slightly different to female skin there tends to be more collagen muscle mass tends to be larger skin tends to be thicker but newer come on you need to start testing your devices on guys as well i want to see that it's been tested on male skin as well that it's going to be safe for me to use now i know from my own experience from my studies and from the science that this is going to be fine for you to use as a guy on guy skin so don't worry about that this is just a precaution they have to put in here to protect themselves yada 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 and i'm not bashing newer and i'm not bashing the device because honestly i absolutely love this i just find it a little bit disappointing when companies don't invest in their male audience as well because we're here for it we're down for these devices we're trying to take care of our skin we want to boost our confidence brands get behind us please and you are if you ever need male guinea pigs to come and try any of your new devices if they're anything like this like sign me up. Okay, so now I've got all of that out of the way. I guess the next step is to give you a quick demo of how I personally use the Newer Plus RF device. Now in the manual, it says that you apply the gel directly to the tip of the device. Then what you do is you use that tip to spread the gel across the areas that you're going to be treating. Now I'm going to be treating the upper cheek area, which is just beneath the cheekbone. I'm going to be treating the mid and lower cheek area. And I'm also going to be doing along the jawline and under the neck. Now I don't really use this on the forehead, around the temples or anywhere like that. It's really what I like to call a mid and lower level facial device. But as you're going to see, I do use it on my upper eye area, kind of just to help open my eyes, lift those lids and kind of give me a more refreshed and I guess awake look. Now each area that I treat is four minutes, so it's four minutes for the upper cheek, four minutes for the lower cheek, four minutes for the under chin and jawline area. So in total it's a 20 minute treatment, I'm not going to force you to sit there and watch me doing this for a whole 20 minutes. So, so I'm going to give you a general idea of how I use it, then I'm going to speed through each of those sections until the treatment's done and you've got a good idea of how to kind of use it yourself. Okay, so I'm going to do this until the light starts flashing green. Now I can see the light out of the corner of my eye. Once it starts flashing green, it means that the skin has reached the optimal temperature and the device is delivering all of that collagen boosting heat to the skin. If it feels too hot, I can start making the circles a little larger and pick up the speed that I'm using. If it doesn't feel hot enough, then I can kind of bring those circles to be a little bit smaller and then slow the pace down. I'm not going to burn myself because it has got that overheat protection in it. Bring it down, mid cheek, okay so that's four minutes for the upper and mid cheek, now I'm going to do four minutes on the lower cheek and along the outer part of the jawline. Now by treating these specific areas, basically what you're doing is by treating along the upper cheek area, you're kind of elevating. The mid cheek, you're gonna be contracting, so you're kind of pulling down slightly, but you're also pulling up slightly. And then obviously the lower cheek and along the jawline is gonna help with the gels and tightening up and snatching that kind of jawline to look a lot more youthful. And then for the last four minutes, I'm gonna turn on the jawline.
Okay, so the last part that I'm going to do is the upper eyelid area. Now, when I'm doing this area, I'm not on the eyelid itself. What I'm doing is I'm elevating the brow. I'm going to be treating the skin over the upper orbital rim. I'm just going to take a bit of the gel and run it into the brow as well. And off we go. Again, remember this isn't recommended by Noah, this is just the way that I use it myself, but you'll see why when I'm done. Okay, then the other side. And that is why I do my upper eyelid area. Okay, so now that I've got the full face done, the eyes are done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the device a quick wipe down with a wet wipe, gonna dry it off, and I'm gonna put it on charge so it's ready for the next use. And yeah, I guess we've covered pretty much everything for this device. Now, this is just a one-time use video, so I've only used the device once in this video. It's not one of my usual before and after videos. I am gonna be doing some follow-ups over the coming weeks and months, so if you're not already subscribed, then be sure to hit subscribe so you can kind of stay up to date with how it's all progressing and get a better idea for yourself, like of the kind of results that I'm experiencing. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty damn impressed with this one. If you want to get your hands on one of your very own newer Plus Wireless devices, I'm going to throw some links down in the description box. I'm also going to throw some links to my other radio frequency devices, radio frequency videos, and the content kind of looking at how it works beneath the skin in a little more depth. As always, if you've got any questions about this device, about radio frequency as a treatment, or you just feel like being nosy and you want to know a bit more about me and the kind of treatments that I do, the comments are open, so feel free to drop your your comments in there and I think we're just about done. I hope your day is as amazing as you are. Have a fantastic week ahead of you and I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. So till then, TJ over and out.